Hey y'all, Bo the Potato here with another one of the easiest way Welcome. master hat videos for Sifu. And now we're checking out the tower. Uh, first we're going to head down, down, take the shortcut Bring through the elevator. Up. It is the easy way. Once it starts loading here, you can actually run through that door. You can make it all the way to like here before the, uh, the bell dings. Once you run through here, there's a brick on the left if you want to pick it up. It just messes with my rhythm on the push strikes and moves here. I found that those combos are really essential to keep people far away in this room because of this little teleport thing you're about to see. Everybody jumps around when that bell dings and it can really mess up combo timing and catch you off guard. Well, it caught me off guard anyway. So lots of push strikes, trip kicks, sweeping people down when possible to keep them in the same spot. Generally the people move, but they won't change position. So if you do have them on the ground and the bell dings, they'll just be on the ground somewhere else. Here we're gonna pick up our sword, go through the door. When I was doing these, I'd try to get through each of the parts unhurt or get to the boss this without dying who kept for themselves but the then mostly just do the hard parts of course it's a made up order all orders are made up uh, yeah then do the hard parts particularly the hard part of this one which is fairly famous the room with the big guy and the flash kick girl and the uh, extra sword or whatever yeah, don't know why I didn't just stab her. Uh, I think I was trying to like build up the extra focus just in case and was like, yeah, I don't even really like to bring the, uh, the Kondachi into the next room. All right, up on the weapon damage. I think I pick it up anyway. I don't even like use it. <laughs> just carry it with me because it makes me feel secure. I started noticing such little things like the bottom of his shoes got some sick kicks and I feel like I've even got more great hair <laughs> because I've tried this so many times like on the character all right so there we go uh, duck punch push strike chasing trip kick gonna get over here and use these people you got to throw them into each other to hit the track the flash kick girl she needs two chasing trip kicks after a push strike maybe a duck punch uh, and the ground and pounds to get her knocked out in this room, the new people come after, you see another teleport there. In this room, each new like bad dude comes after you take out the prior one. Uh, in here, you always want to take out this person before you do the big dude, uh, especially if you're going to be using the uh, stab move with the eye poke. So if you do that charged back fist and anyone else is in the room, I learned that there is a long, like, vulnerability period where you cannot avoid after doing it and I got punched in the back of the head so many times it just drove me nuts uh, there are three bricks in that hard part room two of them you can pick up one of them's a lie I would throw the brick at her pick up the blade quick little one shot though if you really want focus you can fight her just remember the third move on their little pushing String is the one to catch and do a crooked foot after to take down their structure and then Oh man, I also fell on this part so many times when I got here. It was super embarrassing. I almost did there too. And here, always do a sweep. Then parry counter throw. Ground and pound. One more sweep. Finish. Uh, the sweeps and the finishes I don't think again do like weapon durability. I think I mentioned that in the Kuroki video. Uh, and avoid here, parry counter, into the wall, sweep take down again. Um, yeah, what was I saying? Two fake bricks, one real one. Oh yeah, you can do the, uh, the crooked foot on the bodyguard type lady and uh, build up some extra focus. Take the weapon down, dodge backwards, it'll always be right behind you. Uh, I went with the Kondachi here just because I just felt the combos were best. Two parries, three parries, and 
just watch the structure bar here. That's the key. The thing I wasn't realizing is that I was building up my structure bar, uh, and it was cracking because I wasn't getting a perfect parry due to the timing on this sweep. It just always threw me off. So I'll try to keep my structure a little lower. Again, reworked my shrines, if I didn't mention that, uh, to make sure that I had the structure bar and the structure bar regain on a void. I've got parry counter at three again here, so it's a huge plus. Uh, do that duck strike move. Gives me a nice three chops. And in phase two, it prevents her from doing the that very first move where she tries to grab you. Uh, if you time it right, you can almost not have to deal with her more annoying combos as you're closer into her. Uh, and that final move, once you've got vertical strikes available, pop that, heavy, heavy, weave, heavy, heavy, weave, and then either the duck strike or into raining strikes, or you can do a push strike and chasing trip kick with a ground and pound, and that's one of the like most significant structure damaging moves in the entire game. Uh, I think the vertical strikes almost always gives that like gong sound and the heavy stun, and yeah, that is a... Uh, crushing combo <clears throat> yeah like I said this one took me way more time than I expected so I'm gonna see me do a little celebratory tour here uh, where we will run in and show off the hat on the sanctuary which is my my new pride and joy uh, I consider this my my success because I've talked to multiple people that have done the uh, Grandmaster hat kind of challenge if you will on uh, master mode and I thought that if you got through Yang's third phase without getting hit you'd get to wear like the hat around like the Wugan and stuff like that but that is not the case so like to me this is success uh, I am happy and we'll flip over now and do the uh, the fun run to celebrate I thought it would be appropriate to go uh, with a masterful skin uh, with Splinter. What's funny is uh, I had to edit this down way more than I expected. It took me like five or six runs to actually get through the whole tower level without dying. And again, with as many hours as I've got in here, I am uh, still, still getting brutalized way too often. Important key movement here. I should have been throwing more people into that big lady. Those, uh, heavy bodyguards or whatever. I've just not quite mastered the, the combos, their um, openings. Appreciate that she took out the dude for me. But like, I got a couple more parries on him. Just, it's just never when I want it to be. I tend to always get caught off guard. Using the focus moves does tend to help. like the return of the flowing claw, not the original move. I did not think this was going to be anything special as far as score runs. Up through the elevator. Take my time. The only benefit of like scooting all the way down here is if you get to the back side of the desk, they'll disappear. Uh, otherwise, you have to wait through her little speech for them to Take show up. How did they charge back fast? Put it down now. I can't remember if I even used the uh, focus on her. Eh, nice. oh, so happy to avoid that little tackle. Those grabs get me. Way more often than the fatties do. Shut down all entrances. I pop down, step time the sky right quick. This was such a fun run. I do really enjoy the uh, the tower as a level overall. The uh, mix up in enemies that you get to fight makes a huge difference, and I think is uh, yeah, just makes for an exciting set of exchanges. Don't go any further. Here, I like to use the door as a choke point. 
ladies can be fragile. Oh yeah, and they will throw bottles at you too. Uh, you also can't hit people like when they're running, especially straight sideways with the bottles. Uh, Sifu did not teach us how to throw. Yep, snap kick over the low. Drop that bottle. Oh, she did a good job dodging that. Give her a little throat chop as a reward. I've noticed there are not many of the guys who can like turn Super Saiyan, who will generally catch a bottle when you throw it at them, at them initially. Uh, once they're powered up, or once you like kind of beat on them a little bit, it's almost like that bar like glows more. I hope I throw somebody off the balcony here, I can't remember. You can definitely use the, the ramp and the stairs here, like if I was going to go for the full master hat, that's what I'd be doing, just pushing everybody down the stairs, throwing them off the ledge, no sense uh, spending time doing real damage and avoiding attacks when I can just throw them all down. Yep, got two that could potentially go super safe. I can't remember if I bothered to take that into account. Them combos can be fierce. That makes me feel better anyway. Pick up the broom on the side here just because bow staff is fun. I'm embarrassed I have not even taken the time to go through and use the golden staff weapons. I feel like I should make a video on each of those too. Uh, but I may be done with Sifu for just a little bit just because I can say, uh, whew, yeah, it was a journey. Get this hat all the way through, but now I can show it off on any level. And I'm a happy camper. There's that guy. I thought I uh, had the surprise attack on this first girl and wouldn't, she wouldn't go super. Same thing. And that's what I've seen a lot of the times on those uh, master hat runs for people who do the no shortcuts all the way through, which, damn, my, uh, my hat's off to them for sure. Uh, it's amazing the way they do that. It takes uh, a lot of speed and a lot of accuracy with like the right throws moving around people hitting those push strikes and the uh, follow-up trips and avoids at the right time. Here, if I do go to the sanctuary, I want to have that extra uh, focus regain and structure regain on avoids and parries if I can. Come and face your judgment. Coming through here, I generally do the uh, charged back fist with the broom on the fatty as he comes in. I have noticed though it's really easy to get caught in like this pattern with him where you get him down and then he just goes non-stop with the, the punching combo and I couldn't figure out like how exactly to get around it uh, when I was in the corner here it's just one two three one two three and he like gets interrupted from his normal one it was just faster than he usually was but, no big deal. Finish him off that way, pick up the broom again. And we'll see what we can do with the brothers. I don't know if they're actually twins. I've always thought they were. Now you don't get the chance to sprint out through the elevator when you come down the long way here. Again, we'll come around. 
hope I step on some of these little rock statues. I wanted to like desecrate the tower after every time I spent getting my butt kicked in here for that hat challenge. Yeah, there we go, crush them rocks. The nice part about the broom or staff too is that it breaks into the, uh, like basically the bamboo stick. school like you did them turtles. <laughs> that felt like very professional. <laughs> Throw out of my way. Toss her with the uh, the last bit of the weapon. I hope I just sabotage this lady. The guardians. This made up order who kept for themselves. Yeah, again, the anywhere past the, the table, maybe not even quite to it. You can just Hold that charged back fist. As soon as he gets over your head, let it let it rip and hold their direction. And nighty night. I think I do the same thing in this room again. Get real consistent. <laughs> Crush them rocks. Jump on over. Like I said, there's three big three bricks in this room. Only two you can throw. Take out the first guy. Use the next ones to uh, get tossed into the flash kick girl. That was smooth catching her with the brick there. I know that saved me. And I also have a bad habit of either missing the flash kick girl with the eye poke or missing her with that push strike like I did there. Get him taken out. Notice the dude teleports again. Try to avoid him for long enough to get the. Uh, sword wielding SOB out of the way and this is where one of them popped and went super saiyan which I hadn't seen in a long time there we go poke him in the eye pick it up stab away and there's that unavoidable window I had time to hit like down and sideways on the avoid but after that stab it just can't do it but that's okay this is not a hat run face I love that I can Take down now and halfway bust her back. Here, I'm gonna go around and get the other good brick. If I can remember where it is. Yeah, I think the front one doesn't work. Yeah. No, that's the one that does. There you go, in the back. And on to the bodyguard. I think this bodyguard is probably one of the ones that like took me out the least. And for her, you can use the edge of that like fire pit or that stone lining as your guideline for how close you need to be to land the stab. You can probably be a little further away, but uh, you should be able to actually toss the brick, grab the sword, and like one scoot before uh, setting the charged back fist for the one shot and she'll go. Worst case, you do an eye poke because when you do the uh, that charged back fist one shot, the eye poke uh, does enough to. Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, the uh, eye poke does enough to stun her or long enough to get one stab, and it brings back enough focus to refill the whole meter. Sorry, brain fart. Uh, I noticed there that the uh, the bow staff only takes two hits. Oh, I can't count the number of times. I actually, I can. I fell through there probably like it's seven or eight way. times, and that was still good. Um, I just noticed before that the bow staff uh, has fewer hits required, uh, even before the upgrade, uh, to take somebody down, even though they're the weakest grunts. Setting me a high score here, kind of cool. Pick up the staff. And I had not taken the staff in by Jin Feng before, so, or at least not recently. So this was kind of a fun one. Vertical strikes. The heavy heavy combo doesn't work the same way. Well, maybe it does. Maybe I just missed it. I can't remember. Get those parries. Notice here, I think I keep my structure of bar like even lower than when I was doing the uh, Master Hat Run. 
I feel like Jin Feng's uh, non like long swinging attacks with her like actual punch of her kicks do even more structure damage to her. Like she takes a lot of structure damage just from attacking you and, and you parrying. Like as you can see, she's already at like a quarter here from just these few. Uh, again, I do have uh, parry impact maxed out. But when she's like up close and trying to hit me, she just gets slaughtered. Parry impact is just too much. Yep, I'm gonna avoid on that around. Up and over. I know what's good for me. I will. Uh, Avoid the next couple. Something wrong? Nope, just get hit. There's my point. And I saw that that parry impact was gonna take her over the edge. Finished it out. There we go. Fun run uh, and the master hat challenge complete. Uh, again, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if there are any other things you want to see. Uh, I'll try to get those other ones posted here soon and uh, look forward to seeing you more on the channel. Thanks again. Bo the Potato out.